We are back with more. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. Aww. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Why do you hate Tilly? He hates Cersei just as much as you do. Imbecile. Here we go. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. The White House are just asking to be massacred. If only I could do that. <laughs> but Roderick's health is terrible at the moment. And we have barely anyone to fight for us. Yay! What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way.
<laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey, Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you, but the name fits, don't it? Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick, beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now! And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't! You'll have to go through me! I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please! You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever- We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now! Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No, you know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now, eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Just getting bitched around, really. Jesus Christ. Griff Whitehill. That snot nosed fourth ball. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in. Whether he rides out on horseback, or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. 
Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Save Ryan. We get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter. The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives. But it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Italian Lord Tyrion, man. but Lady Marjorie needs me. Very well. Just know that matter we discussed? <clears throat> A royal decree sits on my desk now, and I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. I thought you would want to know. Good news on a day that is already blessed. Thank you for telling me, Lord Tyrion. Oh, one more thing. The most valuable favor is a favor unspent. Perhaps I'll call on you for a dance at the wedding feast. Enjoy the festivities. 
Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Lady Marjorie, welcome to the family, for better or worse. Lord Tyrion. <laughs> so this is how he's helping your family? A royal decree. You know I didn't want you talking to him. Today of all days. I made a deal with him. For the crown to buy my family's ironwood. Think of how this will look. House Forrester already has so few friends at court. And when this decree becomes public, you may find you have even fewer. You disappoint me, Mira. We'll, we'll talk about this after the wedding. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... Come with me, Sarah. Marjorie's being such a bimbo in this game. In the show, she's fine. Nowhere near as much of an idiot. I should have went with Tyrion just to spite her. <sighs> God damn it. Talking to Tyrion as well would have been better. Garrett! Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? He, uh... He came to ask about the North Grove. Garrett, you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Herald Holt of White Harbor. Callis Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this one for the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Gary. We practice swords to Gary, start. what's the matter? Don't want anyone you know it. Come on! Get moving! Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester? Don't do something you regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer, I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall. Brother, looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. Gonna kill him. I can just see it coming. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. It can't be that bad. I stayed with her when Tyrion tried to talk to me. 
I said everything right. Look, you once promised to help me with Marjorie when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. I think she will. Look, the pie! Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? Uh, seven hells. You there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished with her. Are you sick, her. man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Ah, uh, we won't be seeing Tyrion for much longer then, because it's Joffrey's wedding. Uh. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or... Perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest diamond. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? An alliance can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of Ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehall? Who has proven to be very interested in it? I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task. Especially now, but if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have
have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. What do you expect? <gasps> Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom. I'm in trouble. There's... something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly around here. No. It's not worth your life. Thank you for saying that. I guess I better not die then. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I... I was just... I just needed to get away. After everything that's happened, it was terrible. I'm sure you did. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You! Don't move! Tom! It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Tiles on the roof came loose. Tom, we have to hurry. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. It was on his desk. He said that it would be on his desk. We're running out of time. Oh, nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Oh, oh another bloody letter! When the Tyrion box Strongbox! Oh, it must be in here. I think the Lannister Guard is back. No, no, it's the other one. Damn it! Hide! I'll find a way to distract them! I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Help! Fire! What the hell? Damn it! Come on! did it? How? I lit a tapestry on fire, down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. Uh. No, 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 no! Just hurry! Oh! Come on! <gasps> it worked! Is this? Oh, thank the... Gods! Oh, 
Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! <coughs> if I catch that bastard who... I'll wring their bloody neck! That was close. But that guard might recognise me again. We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. It's the White Hills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. It's all gone. There's nothing but stumps. The White Hills need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. I'll hear what she has to say, but I won't forget who she is. Good. You see what her family's done here? Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop it there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, stick around for some more videos. Uh, I hope you have a nice day.